Hey everybody, welcome to Home with the Halsteads. Today I'm going to be making a potato casserole. So let me tell you what I'm going to be using to make this casserole. I'm using three large russet potatoes. Now you could use six small potatoes. You could use red potatoes if you want to. But I'm using um, russet potatoes and I have three large ones. I'll be making a white sauce to go with this uh, dish that I'm making today. I'm going to be using some butter, a little bit of flour, some milk, salt, and pepper, and we're going to top it with some good sharp cheddar cheese. So let's just dive right in and get this potato casserole made. The first thing that I like to do when I make this potato casserole is to parboil my potatoes. I took them over to the sink, I used a little brush and scrubbed them really well, and then I placed them in this large uh, stock pot. I covered them with water and now I have them on the stove on high heat. I'm going to bring them to a boil and boil them for about 20 minutes. Now, parboiling is partially cooked. That's what it means. It means that you partially cook something. And what this does, it helps to speed the process of cooking the potatoes when you put it in the casserole and uh, place it in the oven to bake. So I'm going to boil, boil these for about 20 minutes and then I'll place them under running cold water and cool them to a temperature that I can peel them and slice them. And then we'll make our white sauce, we'll put our casserole together, place it in the oven, let it bake, um, and then we'll put our cheese on it. So hang with me, it's going to be delicious. Okay, our potatoes have boiled for about 20-25 minutes and they are ready to peel. Now I wanted to tell you, I took a knife and I just cut around the center of the potato before I boiled it. So that'll help me to get started peeling. I've already peeled one and you see how pretty it peeled. Now I wanted to just show you real quickly how easily this skin comes off of this potato. Look at that. It's just amazing and not only does it make it easy to peel, it also uh, starts the baking process, the cooking process, and again, that's what parboiling is all about. Um, you want to, to start the process of cooking your foods before you actually cook it. So I'm going to peel these and I'm going to slice them. In fact, I'll go ahead and slice this one and show you um, how we're going to do that and then we'll get ready and we'll make our um, white sauce. So we're just slicing our potatoes. And they slice so easily because they are partially cooked. This is such a wonderful side dish. It goes with so many foods. You can serve it any time that you want to. You could even serve this for breakfast or um, a brunch if you wanted to do that. So now I'll finish slicing, peeling, and slicing our potatoes. We'll make our white sauce and we'll put our casserole together. To make our white sauce, I'm starting out by melting three tablespoons of butter. To that, I'm going to add two tablespoons of flour, and I'm using uh, self rising flour. You could use plain all purpose flour if you wanted to, but I like the um, self rising, I like the taste of it. So I'm just mixing that around so that there aren't any lumps um, in our butter and our flour. So just stir that around, making sure that it's mixed well. And again, I'm using a silicone spatula. You can use these with heat. So now I'm going to gradually add three cups of milk. Well, before I do that, I think I'll go ahead and add our pepper. That's a half a teaspoon of black pepper and one teaspoon of salt. And again, black pepper and 
or any kind of pepper and salt is to taste. So now I'm going to gradually add three cups of whole milk. Three cups of whole milk. Just stirring this around. And what we want to do, we want to uh, heat this and cook it until it thickens. And when it gets thick, and I spill some down, I will need to clean that up. <laughs> so I'm going to cook this, stir it until it gets thick, and I'll be back. Okay, we're starting to put our um, potato casserole together. I'm using uh, an 8 by 11 baking uh, dish. I have sprayed it with a non-stick spray, and I have placed uh, half of our potatoes um, in the um, in the dish. Now, our white sauce is ready, and I did add another tablespoon of uh, flour to make it a little bit thicker. So now we're just pouring half, about half of the sauce over um, these potatoes that I have in the baking dish, and we'll save half of it. Now we're going to come in with the remainder of our uh, potatoes. Just placing them on top like that. And because these are parboiled, you're not going to need to cook this as long uh, as you would if you were using just raw potatoes. So I will cover this um, with aluminum foil and I'll bake it on 350 for about probably maybe 30 minutes and then I'll uncover it and we'll top it with um, sharp cheddar cheese that I'm going to grate um, while this is baking in the oven. So you can see how delicious this is going to be, how yummy it's going to be. The potatoes are going to cook out some starch and it'll just get a little bit thicker. This white sauce is going to be delicious. You can add more butter to it if you want to um, and just make it to suit your taste. So now I'm going to cover it with a piece of foil and we'll place it in the oven on 350 for about 30 minutes and I'll be back. Our potato casserole has been in the oven about 45 minutes and remember it was covered. I have uncovered it and now we're going to top it with sharp cheddar grated cheese. And I grated this myself. I like to do that. Just makes it so delicious and this is really really hot. We're going to um, cover it with cheese. You can put as much as you want to, as little as you want to. We are cheese lovers, so I'm going to be putting a good bit of cheese on top of mine. Tell me in the comments um, if you've made a recipe similar to this, or, or maybe the same recipe. And I did want to tell you this, that if you don't have time to make the white sauce, then you can substitute and you can use cream of celery or cream of mushroom soup instead of making the white sauce. But I wanted to show you how to make it from scratch, um, making the white sauce and pouring over the potatoes. So now we're going to put it back in the oven until the cheese melts and it gets nice and bubbly. Then we'll let it rest probably 15 um, minutes before we actually dip um, and serve the potato casserole. Our potato casserole is all done. The cheese is melted. And so now I'm just going to try to dip some and hold my camera. I don't know if I can do that or not, but I wanted you to see how it looks. Oh my goodness, I know that's going to be so, so good. Just dipping some out. Mmm, mmm. Look at that. So now it's taste time. Okay, our potato casserole is all done. 
It looks delicious. I can't wait to taste it. I hope you'll try the recipe real soon. Thank you for being in my kitchen with me today. And as always, I love you. And let's taste this potato casserole now and see how it tastes. I'm going to get this potato here with a, um, some cheese on it. Let me cut it. Mmm, I want some of that white sauce too. Mmm. Y'all, yeah, that is so good. Mmm. I could eat the whole casserole. Mmm. I won't want anything for dinner if I don't quit eating this. Mmm. It is so, so good. If you love potatoes, then you're going to love this. I'll see you again really, really soon. Bye-bye.